This is big, breaking, emergency news. We are now getting warnings that EMP weapons are now being deployed. Electromagnetic pulse weapons that have the capability to wipe out our power grid and our electronic systems and even nuclear power plants can be targeted with these weapons and that's what they're saying these weapons are now being deployed all right so this is big and this is the next step that we are seeing in this warfare that is escalating around the world right and we could see these weapons potentially used on the american people as well at some point right so this is something that we all need to be getting ready for and we're getting a warning from a top captain as well he is warning us a member of our military he is warning us about this emp threat as well and these weapons are being deployed right now so let's dive into the details here really quick please hit that like hit that subscribe i'm posting multiple videos a day keeping you guys updated on this big urgent news all right so you can see here in the background this is one of the weapons that are being deployed right now and countries around the world have very similar weapons but the u.s is now deploying this electromagnetic pulse weapon that has the capability to wipe out nuclear power plants and electrical grids as well and this is also a directed energy weapon using high-powered microwaves okay so this is big and we're also getting a warning from a member of our active forces that these weapons could be used on the united states as well we are entering the territory where these emp weapons are going to be used on each other so you can see here this is one of the weapons that have just been deployed okay and they're saying that this is to target iran's nuclear facility all right and other countries like china iran russia as well have very similar weapons you can see here though u.s has deployed microwave missiles that can disable iran's nuclear facility this article just came out today and it says Mary Lou Robinson, former chief of the Air Force High Powered Microwave Division, confirmed to DailyMail.com that the missiles are, quote, ready to take out any target, including nuclear facilities. All right, so this is big that the U.S. Air Force is now saying that they have deployed these weapons to potentially target Iranian nuclear facilities okay and you can see here this is what a member of our air force just warned of a few months ago too all right we'll get into more details of that in just a second exactly what they're planning on doing but check this out this is what captain ronald mckinney jr was warning of just in february he said that the u.s air force has a role in the electromagnetic pulse vulnerability of the united states critical infrastructure all right and he says the nuclear capabilities of russia china iran north korea and violent extremist organizations are of substantial concern and are highlighted throughout the 2022 national defense strategy of the united states it says along with these nuclear abilities comes the threat to the u.s homeland in the form of electromagnetic pulse attacks all right and the U.S. military is now deploying these weapons. That's what this missile is right here, right? So we could see responses. He's saying Iran has these same exact weapons and the U.S. Air Force is preparing for it. He said a large enough EMP attack could destabilize significant swaths of the U.S. critical infrastructure services, electricity, telecommunications, water supply, all right? And he said for anywhere up to months at a time, impacting millions of citizens, jeopardizing governments, and causing untold billions in damage. It says various Department of Defense services maintain a subset 
of EMP hardened mission critical assets in case of an EMP attack. However, the United States Air Force, including its personnel, installations, assets, and operational infrastructure, are inextricably intertwined with the EMP vulnerable critical infrastructure of the United States. So he's saying that the DoD does have certain hardened assets that will survive a EMP. But he said most of their infrastructure is dependent on the same infrastructure that we use, civilian infrastructure. They use the same power companies and the same water lines that we do most of the time. These U.S. military bases, right? And if there's a shutdown in a city or a major area, then there could be a shutdown of these bases as well from an EMP event, right? And the most likely scenario is one of these EMPs being detonated over St. Louis, Missouri. That would cause the most destruction they've done from simulations, okay? And think about it. Think of all these balloons that have been in our airspace. Think about the plane that went missing. You remember that U.S. military plane that went missing, right? All this weird stuff going on. Think about that Chinese rocket that entered the airspace and burned up over Los Angeles a couple weeks ago. All right, I made a whole video on that. There was a Chinese rocket that just fell out of orbit and burned up over LA, right? I made a whole video on it. Crazy. These things could have had EMP weapon systems on them right now, right? And you can see here, he says that the U.S. Air Force and other sister services could see a halt to U.S. military activities domestically and potentially worldwide following a successful EMP attack within the United States, all right? So they're talking about targeting these nuclear facilities in Iran with these microwave missiles. The U.S. has already been shooting down Iranian drones and missiles that were targeting Israel, okay? So we could see the U.S. participate in active hits on Iran as well, and they've actually done drills simulating hitting Iranian nuclear facilities as well. So this is something that we need to be prepared for because Iran could respond with similar weapons, okay? And these directed energy weapons, they're everywhere. The U.S. military has them. You can see here it says directed energy weapons, high power microwaves. This is on the Office of Naval Research, okay? These things exist. They are real weapon systems. And what this is, okay, this is a missile that is dropped from a B-52 bomber, okay? So you can see here, here's another angle of it being dropped from the plane, so that's the actual missile. I know this kind of looks like some kind of drone or plane, but this is actually a missile that is delivered from the air, okay? And this has an electromagnetic pulse microwave weapon on the missile. So it doesn't explode, but when it hits, it lets out this giant EMP wave. And they're actually saying that this can actually penetrate deep into the earth and will destroy all electrical systems even in deep underground military bases as well you can see here here's another article about it and it says down here right it says even if a bunker is buried in a mountain the hpm penetrates the facilities through its connections to power cables and communication lines and antennas. Thus, it can penetrate any underground military or nuclear facility and destroy its electronics. Okay, it says targeted at command and control centers, the missile can render any country's military inoperable, and one missile can hit multiple targets in succession. Okay, so that's pretty big that that's happening and that these weapon systems are being deployed. You can also see here it says, while Iran may attempt to shield its equipment, U.S. officials 
say that it would not be effective against the HPM missiles. And it says besides underground bunkers and command centers, HPMs can quickly disable fighter planes, tanks, ships, and missile systems, and it can wipe out facilities for developing and testing nuclear weapons. All right, so this is a major escalation that this weapon has been deployed. And they're saying it's ready to wipe out Iranian facilities. Okay, but we have to think about we could see responses on the United States as well. That's what this U.S. Air Force captain was warning of in February. He's saying that Russia, China, Iran, and North Korea and these just groups have these EMP capabilities. And they're getting more advanced every single day, right? He also is warning that this could potentially shut down the United States and cause a societal collapse and a societal disaster inside the United States if something like this happens. You can see here he says many forms of modern technology would be damaged or destroyed because of the sensitive electronic components that enable them to work. It says beyond the obvious electronic devices such as computers, phones, telecommunication towers, and radios, the prevalence of electrical components would also see the immobilization of a large number of motor vehicles as well. That's another thing. Most of these cars are all computerized, highly computerized, and they have to have these software updates and be connected and everything to even start up, especially a lot of these newer cars. All right, so motor vehicles and many other devices that are crucial to modern life. He said, for example, semiconductors are vital components for electronic equipment and are specifically vulnerable to internal heating caused by EMP attacks. And this is, they're saying that these EMP weapons won't hurt anyone, right? They're saying it's, it's just going to wipe out electronics, but this could definitely hurt people. These EMP pulses can definitely potentially burn people. These are high-powered microwaves, right? They can potentially burn you, potentially cause internal damage to your organs, heat them up, and expose them to high levels of radiation, right? All these things are possible as well. It's definitely not safe, and you could have damage, could damage your ears, your hearing, vision, all these things are up for grabs and it's definitely not safe but they were saying that this weapon system is safe to humans but i highly doubt that all right that's one thing that i'm not too sure about maybe it is but i don't think any high exposure to this is going to be safe for people as well we could see lots of injuries to people besides just electronics all right, and he says these semiconductors are not easily replaced in most modern, modern electronics. Right? They're all made overseas in Taiwan. And if we're in the middle of a war, China is going to blockade Taiwan. And China's not letting any semiconductors or chips or anything leave Taiwan. And we're going to be screwed. Right? He said industrial electrical transformers at plants and substations would be at risk of overload and catastrophic failures in an EMP attack. He said these components are very large, expensive, and difficult to manufacture and transport. He said this makes it difficult to maintain and properly protect spares in EMP shielded facilities where they might be needed. All right, and he says, given the interdependence of the U.S. critical infrastructure, the inability to communicate or power industrial processes would have a devastating compounding effect. He said major disruptions to water supplies, food production, food transportation networks, and medical services could directly endanger the U.S. populations as such attacks could severely weaken the country's economic and military power. This is big, guys. This would be society altering, right? This is why you need to be prepared. You need to be stocked up. You need to have a generator. You need to have gas tanks filled up, ready to go. And you need to have this generator like in your basement or something or protected inside block walls. 
I have a Faraday cage around it if you can. But bare minimum, try to put it, have it in your basement, surrounded by block walls, grounded, sitting on the ground. So most likely it will, the pulse will just move right over it. All right, that's your best case scenario because we're going to see a lot of things. And then what happens next? The food supply is going to collapse. The supply chain is going to collapse. It's going to turn into a real SHTF scenario afterwards, two weeks after, three weeks a month. It's going to take a decade to rebuild everything if we're lucky, if there's not a kinetic attack after an event like this, right? He also said that electrical power and telecommunications are also two systems that rely heavily on computer systems to manage them and whose major components would most likely suffer severe permanent damage from an EMP attack. The means and motives to target the U.S. with some form of significant scale EMP attack lie most notably with China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea, right? Because they actually have the weapon systems and missile delivery systems to get a missile like this over the United States. And it only takes one, right? Even if we shoot down 99.9% .9 of all the missiles that ever happens, if anything like this ever happened, it only takes one. And it only takes one balloon. They could just send the balloon over high altitude weather balloon that has one of these things on it. And apparently we don't even detect it until it's over the middle of the country. Nobody even knows, right? So this is big. He's saying cyber attacks of sufficient sophistication can mimic some effects of EMPs on a comparable scale by rendering various interconnected critical infrastructure systems inoperable, All right? So he's saying that even cyber attacks can mimic things like this very similar situations that we're talking about here a little bit different delivery system but very similar devastation that is delivered all right and even the u.s military they have these directed energy weapons and they even call them hpm's high power microwaves it says high powered microwave weapons create beams of electromagnetic energy over a broad spectrum of radio and microwave frequencies and it says with the intense of coupling interacting with electronics within targeted systems either by causing damage or temporary disruption from which the system cannot self-recover in time to accomplish its mission all right so they're saying that they essentially zap these systems overwhelm them can cause disruptions it's these frequency weapons that we've been talking about there's localized ones and then there's distance ones as well right there's localized and then there's also things like satellites that can potentially target these high-powered microwave weapons as well right so get yourself prepared get yourself ready the u.s military has deployed these weapon systems and saying they're ready to go and we could see other countries deploy very similar weapon systems and this top captain is warning as well that they're on high alert for anything like this all right so thank you guys i hope you have big blessings for your life your family i hope you're getting prepared getting ready getting your homestead going all right we got our chickens we got a bunch of chickens they're getting big they're gonna start laying soon all right they're little and they're almost there right we got some layers already we my son calls them the mother hens all right they're already laying every day for us and we're gonna have lots more and they're gonna be our meat birds they're gonna we're gonna get a little hatchery going we're gonna breed out the best birds the healthiest birds strongest birds make lines biggest birds right this is what we're working on we're working on our garden back here as well too every single day chipping away at it that's the key to this just 0.1 percent every single day towards your goals your homestead goals your prepping goals your life goals 
your job goals, whatever you're working towards right now. That's the key to it all is 0.1%. That's why you guys see me show up every single day here because I appreciate you guys watching, listening, and I'm grateful for this opportunity. All right, so I want to show up every single day and 0.1% every day, getting a little closer, a little better, a little more every single day. So that's the key, guys. Stay prepared. Keep working towards your goals, right? There's always something new, right? I have, I don't know if I'll ever finish all, finish the list I have, right? Because there's always more stuff added to it. But that's the fun of it all. It's trying to get it done and seeing it all come together, seeing your homestead, your preps, and your goals come together, right? So stay blessed, stay prepared. Get your homestead ready. Get your mind, your spirit, your soul, your body ready. All these things that's going to be infinitely more critical and crucial as we go into the future. And especially if we see situations like this. Guys, if you've ever, if you haven't had, if you've never been without power for a week, two weeks, it's rough. Even still living in America, you're still in America, but you don't have power personally and you're struggling. You can't flush the toilet. You can't live your life normally. You can't cook. Things are piling up. It's rough. It's hot. The AC doesn't work or the heat doesn't work. It's brutal. It's brutal, right? I lived off grid in my RV for years off a generator and we would have to ration all the time right? Because that's just part of it. And it's rough. It's rough not having full power for your house, full water, be living off tanks, be living off generators, having to watch your power consumption, rationing things, everything, right? It's not a fun situation to be in, but that's the situation we need to be hardening ourselves and prepared for in case anything ever happened right so thank you guys i hope you have big blessings for your life your family and i hope you have a big old blessed day